What's up guys, my name is Liam. Today is officially the reveal day for the Razer Viper Mini uh, Ultimate Pro, whatever they're gonna call it. So with that being said, I figured we'd go over some Razer tech today and we're gonna go over with this. I know you guys looking at this and be like, well, that's a final mouse. For those of you that don't know, there's a company out there called Crafted Mice and they actually release a base for your final mouse products, medium and small, to where you can input the Viper V2 Pro PCB in there that will give you 4K, uh, optical switches, lowest click latency on the market. So is this worth it? Is this end game worthy? Let's find out. All right guys, so here we are talking about the Crafted Mice base for the Final Mouse, Starlight, uh, Medium, and the small version. Um, really quick, let's go ahead and get some stuff out of the way here. Uh, the colorway here. Uh, whether you guys love or hate this colorway, think I'm like trying to do something to prove a point or make it look unique. Um, I just want to dress right off the bat, uh, whether you like this or not. I actually didn't do this because of the way it looks. What had actually happened is um, I chose the Phantom version. And even though the Phantom version probably is one of my favorite looking uh, starlights that they released, um, that's one of the big reasons I chose it, but the absolute biggest reason that I chose this mouse to do the mod on was because in all actuality, this was the worst copy that I, that I received out of all the mice that I've purchased. When I got this, uh, the scroll wheel was, uh, dr uh drastically rubbing against the, the right side button of the mouse, uh, had massive creaking issues and the rear part of the mouse right here, um, actually stripped and broke where the screw is. So that is the reason why I'm actually using uh, the shell um, on this version. Um, I was gonna actually uh, try and RMA it back to Final Mouse, uh, but just held on to it for whatever reasons, out of laziness or whatever. And it actually ended up working out because uh, Crafted Mouse, uh, I found out about them on Twitter. Um, I just wanna give a quick shout out to them really quick. Um, I'm gonna start out by saying that this mod is unbelievable. Um, I've tried many custom mice, uh, a bunch of different 3D printed parts, stuff like that. And I will say that this is an absolute two thumbs up. Um, so I'll just start the process like that. After this video, we'll go through all the details, quirk stuff like that. And uh, you can ultimately decide if this is going to be um, a great idea for you. But um, I do want to start out by saying that the quality of the product and everything really exceeded my expectations. Um, the second that I hooked it up, uh, everything fit flawlessly and I was honestly just really blown away uh, that he did such an amazing job at creating this uh, this this uh, this base so what it is is it's the as you can see here it's the base of the mouse so you basically use everything for the top shell and then you just take the bottom out and you obviously need to purchase uh, the Razer Viper V2 Pro and disassemble that, which is incredibly easy. The whole process was actually pretty simple. Um, I am very tech savvy. I've, I customized, I customized lots of my mice and stuff like that. I swap switches, encoders, all kinds of stuff. So um, I have had experience with this. Um, but again, I'll kind of take you through the process and help you out. And I'm also going to add in some nuggets here. Um, if, if Crafted Mice, if you're watching this, um, maybe my ideas aren't the best but there were some changes that i felt um, i needed to make to get this mouse to the level that uh, i really wanted it to be at so uh, let's go over that so really quick uh, before we get started here um i have endlessly worked on this mouse like i've put several hours in it i've probably taken this thing apart no joke probably 50 times that's no no over exaggeration i've changed so many things on it i've just so many things i got rid of the creaking there's literally probably no um, pre-travel on the buttons. And on top of that, it's by far the lightest clicks out of any mouse that I've ever tried. So I'll kind of take you through the process to how I achieve that. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't achieve these results just by throwing everything straight out of the box as it comes. So really quick, let's drop a video um, demonstrating those clicks right now.
So as you can see, uh, the clicks sound great. Um, one thing that you may have noticed um, on this is the buttons might look kind of weird. The reason is, is um, I kind of messed up. I used, so they, hey, let me show you really quick. When, when he sends you this package, you get, this all comes in it. And you have a bunch of different options too. You can get, you can uh, change out the scroll wheel. Um, he gives you a rubber piece for the scroll wheel. Uh, there's different battery options. Um, the Razer Viper V2 Pro comes with a 300 milliamp hour battery and um, it is a bit heavier. It does make the mouse overall feel a little bit heavier than stock. So he actually gives you the option where you can purchase a 200, a 150, and a 100. Um, obviously make the, the mouse lighter overall. So anyways, um, he gives you three. So you get six of these. You get three for the left click and three for the right click. And as you can see here, there's two dots on there. Um, he marked them up. There's, there's one that's one dot, that's the skinniest, two dots in the middle, and then three dot is actually the thickest. So when I told you that these clicks look kind of, or these look kind of weird, what I did is I placed a one on here and a two on here. Um, I kind of wish that I would have just done a two on both so they'd have been spaced evenly. But to be completely honest with you, um, that's probably just one thing I'd do if I, if I were to do this again. You don't honestly feel it at all. Um, when you're holding the mouse, you can't even really tell. And like I said, the clicks, there's like no pre-travel on them. They're pretty much flawless. But again, it didn't come that way right away. I had to work on it um, and add some mods of my own to get it to that to be that way. Um, so out of the box, what you get is you get this little piece right here. And this is so you can power on or off the mouse to the bottom right there. Um, you also get some like... Uh, uh, you also get a sticker here and uh, sorry, the sticker right there. This is um, if you want to use this to put the battery on. I didn't end up needing this um, or if you get the other battery and then you also get some aluminum tape. So the aluminum tape here um, is to put on the buttons um, to kind of help out uh, with making sure that you had less, you have less uh, pre-travel on your clicks and stuff like that. So um, that's about all that comes and then you obviously get the base Right there. So it's pretty cool. As you can see here. I just put the stock um, Razer Viper V2 feet on the mouse just to test it and I have tested like I said this mouse extensively It's basically perfect at this point um, This isn't the feet that I'm gonna go go with when I'm done with it, which I am actually pretty much done with it I just left these on here because so I can remove them and put them back on and I've Remove these state skates and put them back on several times. So, um, but yeah, after this video, actually, I'm probably just going to take these off and I'm going to put the final version on. I'm probably going to go with something like, um, I'll probably try out the Razor Viper mini feed or something like that. We'll see. And, uh, yeah, and that will be about it. So I'll go ahead and, uh, open it up, uh, kind of show you what to expect. And really quick, I'll show you the mods that I've made on it. So let's go ahead and remove the bottom foot here or the bottom skate you can see that comes off <laughs> like nothing because i've taken off so many times So here we are. So here's the base with the Razer Viper V2 PCB in there. And as you can see, I just left the regular battery in there um, because I've used the Razer Viper V2 Pro quite a bit and the battery on 4K doesn't last very long. It lasts like three days or something like that. So I just opted to leave that in there. And if you look closely, as you can see here, or if you know what you're looking at, you can see something doesn't look right. So typically, like I said, what would happen is you get these switches here and then you would screw these on top of here and these actually actuate the switches. And what I found was that um, when I was doing it is I felt like the clicks, I feel like this design, um, not that I'm trying to say anything bad about it or anything, but uh, I feel like this design made the clicks a little too heavy, just in my opinion. And what I'd noticed let me see if I can get close on this when I put these on here. 
So if you see right here, what I noticed is when I first installed these, what I actually did is I actually, I, I moved this piece too close to the plastic right there. And see how it's rubbing up against there? And what I noticed when you do that is it makes the clicks just feel way heavier for whatever reason. So what I experimented with doing is trying to move this back as far as possible away from that. And I feel like it gives a little more room to move there. And then I've tried like bending it different ways, stuff like that. And no matter what I did, I just kind of personally felt like it was making the clicks uh, too heavy. And it, I don't really want to say it's a fault by this design because I think this is a, g a genius idea. And again, everything, there might not be no real good solution for this, but I just felt like the clicks in general were, were a bit heavier um, with this. And it's also kind of the fault of the final mouse because for those of you that have owned a Starlight 12, I feel like regardless of what kind of switches they put in the Starlight 12, um, even even the brand new one, the last legend, they updated those uh, to the Omron switches. And to be completely honest with you, I don't notice too much of a difference. I've seen people online saying that it, it was a great upgrade, stuff like that. But I've always felt like the clicks on the final mouse, just in general, um, were felt a bit heavy to me compared to other mice on the market. Um, so again, that could just be a flawed design of the mouse because of how it basically works. If you guys look up in here is... It's basically, I mean, it's pretty loose, but it's just basically bending metal. So if you guys, if you guys know what you're looking at right now, you're probably like, what the heck am I seeing? So let me show you what I did to go about resolving that issue for my liking. And again, I'm kind of just like, I kind of Frankenstein this. Um, I do feel like this is a pretty foolproof way. I haven't had any issues with it, but, um, Again, I just want to show you guys like what I've done. Um, one thing that I had an issue with was a scroll wheel when I first got it, but just over use, I don't know if it's done with a 3D print. Um, it, uh, I, as you see, I lubed it up quite a bit there. Um, the issue ended up going away and it, it made kind of like a squeaking at first, but now it just works flawlessly. Again, I think it just had to wear it in or get seated or something like that properly. And then the side button design is flawless. It works perfectly. I have no issues with the clicks or anything. So what happens is, uh, like I told you, there's two switches here. You get a switch like this for the right side, and that's just to actuate the switch. And then for the left side, you actually have this piece right here. So what this piece is, is this is actually where the side button's going to for that left click. <clears throat> so let's just go ahead and jump to the point here, and I'll show you guys what I did. So again, since the clicks were a little too heavy for me, I sat down, I was brainstorming, I was like, how can I make these clicks lighter? And ultimately, I came up with the idea of doing this. So basically what I did, well, I did a couple things here and I'll go over those with you. So basically what I did is the ends of these pieces that it gives you right here, this is what actuates the clicks. I was lining everything up and testing it out and I was like, you know what? I bet you I can cut those off and I bet you that I can super glue them or not super. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was, uh, yeah, it was super glue actually, um, onto the base here. <clears throat> so I was kind of sketched out about it by first. Cause I was like, I'd be ruining these parts. And I was like, Oh, well, let's order another one. You know, let's give it a shot. So <clears throat> basically all I did was I took this piece right here. I cut this very end piece off. And then what I did is I actually held this piece with pliers and I just literally put a dab. Um, I just literally put a dab of super glue in the very middle of it right here. So if you guys are interested in me going in an in-depth uh, process on this, um, I ordered the small base because this is the medium, by the way. And uh, once I do get that in the mail, if you guys want me to go through my process, how I achieve these results, um, I'd be more than happy to take you through a step-by-step -step with a small base because again, I'm gonna have to go through and build this all up again. But yeah, I just basically put super glue in the middle top of that. I laid this upside down and I seated it perfectly flat. I made sure it was perfectly flat on, um, on top of the, the metal prong there for the final mouse. So, um, with super glue, it takes like 10 minutes to dry. And then it takes 24 hours for it to seat properly. So I just let it sit for 24 hours. 
And uh, again, luckily I've had absolutely no issues. It hasn't fallen off, hasn't broken, it's still in there solid and everything. And then um, I actually applied uh, some of the uh, some of the tape, the aluminum tape on there, just because I feel like it's the aluminum tape's a little slipperier, slipperier than the plastic is. So when you're making contact on the switch, it just uh, feels a little bit more buttery smooth there. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> one thing I did is um, I wouldn't recommend doing this, but I cut off the guards that keep the switches from going back. Um, the only reason I did on this issue is for some reason, it was the weirdest thing in the world. I'm not joking. I tried everything. I tried lubing it. I tried doing everything. Every time the switch would come up, it would like stick to it. So when I went to go actuate the, the mouse button down, it like was getting stuck to it. And it was like making like a clicking noise. It was so weird. I literally worked on it forever. I tried sanding it down, grinding it down, lubing it up, um, taking this off and replacing it, reseating it several times. And it just always stuck to it and like made the clicks um, harder to actuate for whatever reason. So, um, oh, and there was all, all kinds of other stuff. Like there's some stuff rigged up on here. Like they had like electrical tape wrapped around pieces, stuff like that. I removed all that stuff. So um, anyway, so if I were to ever do this again, I wouldn't cut those off, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, one last thing that I did here that I'll go over um, is I found out a way to make the clicks absolutely flawless without any pre-travel at all whatsoever and um and by doing it also made the clicks lighter so what i actually did is i took this apart and um, i'm not actually going to do it right now but i took the screw out of here and the good thing about this mouse being metal is that you can bend it now i want to offer a caution really quick to you guys obviously for those of you that know with metal if you bend it don't bend it too much and don't bend it back to don't bend it back and forth too much because if you do it'll get weaker so you really want to try and get this in one shot but basically what i did is if you can see here if you can see like the distance between here it like is very minimal almost it's almost touching it might even be barely touching whereas if you look at um original final mouse well it's no point of showing you one that's put together because I'd have to show you one that's disassembled. There's going to be a gap between here. So <clears throat> by adding a slight bend, and I just want to tell you really quick, if you overdo the bend, you'll put the top on and it will actuate the switch and the, the button won't come back up. So you have to be very careful with doing it. But the reason I did it is because um, after the mods that I did, um, I felt like there was a little bit of uh, too much of pre-travel or something like that it just didn't feel right. So by able, by being able to bend the shape um, or bend each button the way that I wanted, it, it was able to fit onto the switch absolutely flawless. I was able to get it and fine tune it exactly where I wanted it to be. So I know this is probably going too far with you guys. This is going a little in depth, but um, like I said, I I really truly believed in this, and I was super excited about this, and I wanted to get this mouse just to be absolutely spot on. So. With that being said, um, after I messed with it and tuned it uh, for days, going back and forth, trying to figure out what to do to, to make it better, um, I literally got it so the switches, the, uh, these never come up too far. There's absolutely like zero pre-travel as you can see there from the test results. The uh, scroll wheel is perfectly centered. Um, it works flawlessly now. Again, I, rec I do recommend if you do get this um, to make sure that you do lube up uh, the corners right there and then yeah that's uh that's really about it so um where would i place this mouse let's see here i, I mentioned the beginning of the video is this end game worthy um i would say absolutely it is if if you're if look if you're if you're into doing something different or having fun if you like building stuff or putting things together um if you're really into gaming mice i know this is an extremely expensive setup so that's another thing that people may ask me, is it worth it? Um, I can tell you this hands off, hands down. Um, when, when I got this put together and assembled immediately, I was going back and forth testing it with a regular, regular final mouse in this one. Can you notice the performance difference? Absolutely. Hands down, no question. Um, I think I do have the liftoff uh, distance. You can set it to, I think it's one millimeter. Um, it goes up to two, I believe. I do have it at two millimeter just because uh, I feel like it tracks. Uh, I mean, it works perfectly fine at one millimeter. The way that he designed the base it works perfectly that way. But I, I put it at the two millimeter. And after comparing the mice back and forth, like this is just flawless. 
Um, another thing is too, is when I did remove the plastic of these switches, I know it doesn't look like it's that big of a deal. And they probably weigh like absolutely nothing. But I do feel like it did help out with the weight and the balancing a bit more because I do feel like when you add these switches and stuff in here, um, the mouse did feel kind of a little heavier in the front. Um, again, that could just be because of the battery. I know the battery's in the back, but the overall mouse was a little bit heavier and I did weigh it. Um, it was a little bit heavier. Let me, let me see where we're actually at here really quick. All right. So after all is said and done. So yeah, it's a little bit heavier. It's about 52 grams. So here is a re another regular medium. So 48 grams. So as you can see, it's about four grams heavier. But again, I felt like it was a, a little bit heavier the way I had it before, and it definitely lined it up a lot. So again, if, if that's a, too much of an issue with you, uh, like I said, again, this is the 300 milliamp hour battery. This is the one that comes standard in the Razer. If you do want to get a lighter weight, um, go ahead and go for that option. If you think it's going to be a problem, um, go ahead and grab that. Um, go ahead and grab that battery, the 200 milliamp hour, 150 or the 100. And uh, I believe with the 100, I believe you can even get it lighter than the stock one. So um, maybe I'll try it out in the small one. Uh, again, I just wanted to keep things um, as stock as possible with the Razer Viper V2 PCB. And uh, yeah, so um, aside from that, how do I compare it to other my other top mice on the market? So right now I'd say these are my top mice that I love to play with. And again, uh, the clicks are lighter than all three of these. Um, tracking is spot on. Um, the only difference is that obviously this is the medium size. I do prefer the smaller size. Um, I'll definitely release a video updating you guys when I do get a smaller size. I do imagine it'll be, it will be smaller and lighter, obviously. And I do prefer the smaller shapes. I don't mind the medium shape too much. I think it's a great shape, uh, for the final mouse. Um, but the only real advantage to these, I would say, is that obviously they're way cheaper. <laughs> you don't have to mess with them. They are lighter. Um, do I think that the Razer Tech is worth it? I do, honestly. I think it's great. So, um, again, if you have the money laying around, this is worth checking out. Absolutely. Um, is this end game worthy? Uh, absolutely. Um, I'm not trying to say anything at all negative about, uh, about Crafted Mice or their design. I think it's amazing. Um, what I think you should do if you do get it is you should hook it up the way that's intended to be and then try it out and see if it works for you. It might work for you. Again, um, the switches feel heavy and it might not be that much heavier even than the final mouse, than the than they come stock. It might just be a tad bit heavier. But again, uh, when I create custom mice, I like to really dive deep. And when I think custom mice, I think per perfection. So I literally wanted to not only just make this mouse be a great mouse, I wanted to take it up a level. Um, and I wanted to try and make it better than um, all the other offerings out there on the market. And I truly do feel like I did achieve that. So um, again, if I if I were to change one more thing, I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Uh, possibly go with a smaller battery, but make it a little bit lighter, but that's really about it. So um, I guess I'll go and end it there. Um, hopefully the news with the, the uh, Razer Viper Mini uh, is gonna be awesome. Uh, I know a lot of people are waiting to see that. Um, it's not really my favorite shape on the market, but I'm definitely excited to check it out, and I'll definitely bring you guys a review on that. But, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, anything I can do to help you, if you want a more in-depth video or anything like that, just let me know if you need any help, um, if you do decide to get this. Um, oh, just really quick, I'll give a shout-out to Crafted Mice. Um, you can check them out on Twitter. Uh, go ahead, and uh, how you purchase it is you'll join their Discord, and then um, you'll do a ticket. And then after you send him a ticket, he'll reach out to you, he'll contact you, he'll verify. You get to pick different colors on this. Um, you get to pick all your extra options, whether you want more tape, different battery, different uh, type of a uh, silicone for the scroll wheel, uh, stuff like that. And then he'll actually send you a link for payment. So um, I know some people are kind of iffy on that. It, I can tell you hands down from my experience, it was 100% legit. The guy was amazing. He, he reaches out to you immediately, answers all your questions. He was great to talk with, with, uh, with you, work with you. He updates you every little step of the way as he's printing it, as he sends it out, all that stuff. So, so two thumbs up to Crafted Mice. Thank you for innovating and going outside the box. I had a lot of fun with this. Um, and overall, I'm blown away by the quality of the end product. This is by far the best 3D print mod I've ever done to a mouse. So thank you guys for watching. And until next time, see you guys later.